Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just wanted to take a second here to show you a little bit about what I did with my Bigsby B6. I'm partial to the type of a Bigsby that attaches to the back of the guitar. I know a normal person would probably have just found one of the other Bigsby's that more, was more fitted for a ES339. But I really wanted one that attached to the back of the guitar. So I, I, I used the B6 model, and I'm really happy with it. The one problem that it has is that if you don't... It, uh, t do some fixing to it it will have a lot of play in that hinge that back hinge it has just it, i mean the bigsby itself will just sway all over the guitar so when you if you do put the guitar into tune once you hit the whammy bar it's going to lose its tuning so you got to do something about that play on that hinge i mean some people might um, bolt it or drill into the body of the guitar itself. This one's on a on a Gibson that I didn't really want to mess too much with the body. So what I did is I said, well, it doesn't cost me too much on a Bigsby, so let me just go ahead and, and uh, customize my Bigsby itself. So I talked to a welder in town. Cost me, I threw him forty bucks. He welded the ba the hinge for me. This thing keeps perfect tune, so it, it's a it's a good solution. Uh, some people may like the cosmetics of it. Some people may not. I think it's kind of cool because it adds a little bit of that mean welded look to it versus the smooth, pretty uh, hinge look. So anyway, it's just something that I thought I'd share with the team because I thought that it really helped me and gave me a use of a guitar that I really had no use for with, with a Bigsby that would always go out of tune. Leave comments in below. Let me know what you think, and, and let me know if, if you have any comments or questions about Bigsby's or, or guitars in general. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye now. Mm -hmm.